Hello folks, my name is Moss for Lockmaker 360 and in the previous video we looked at uh, data types and how they relate to the memory and in this video I like to talk about numbers because with numbers we can do all kinds of uh, aromatical operations we can calculate them and if you are calculating data types sometimes strange things happen and you need to be aware of some tricks so the first thing you need to be aware of is that uh, data types are limited like a byte is limited to 255 and an integer is limited to 32,000 something and just to to see what happened I set up a int and called it end int and I give it its almost its uh, maximal value and I did the same with a byte and I made a another integer an empty one and it's good programming if you create a new data type to set its value to zero so then you be sure that uh, the value is zero and not some default value and what we do is here we add a value of 2 to the end int and we will see what happened we print it in the serial monitor and we do the same for the byte and we do the same with the byte but this time we store it inside the integer you see that uh, the maximum value of an integer if you add a value to there that you end up in the minus and the same with the byte a byte maximum value is 255 if you add 2 to it then you end up with 1 but if you add the value of 2 to a byte and you store it inside an integer then you are good to go so it's always good to know which data type you choose for your calculation so what happened is if a data type is on its end value and you keep on adding uh, new values to it it will uh, start all over again at zero or in this case it will jump to uh, minus uh, 32,000 these are all the aromatic operations you can do adding subtracting the asterisk sign is to multiply divide percent sign is the modulus I will explain this in a minute plus plus is to increase by one and double minus is to decrease by one so let's take a look what happened if we divide two integers so I have an integer here with a value of 5 and I divide this integer by 2 so 5 divided by 2 and we store it inside another integer C and if we run this you see uh, int 5 divided by 2 is 2 so not 2.5 because integer is not a floating point number so we have to ask the for the remainder so what is left and that's what you do with this operator this percent sign so the the modulus of 5 divided by 2 is 1 so uh, let's do the same but now we divide two integers 5 divided by 2 but this time we store it inside our float this one this floating point so we divide the integers and we store it in the float and look what happened so if we divide two integers and we store it inside the float we still get a, a result of 2 and not 2.5 and that's because the dividing operation is done on integers not on floating point numbers so to make this work we have to tell the compiler that uh, the operation must be done inside floats and then we write float before the integer then the compiler 
is aware of to do the division inside floating points and we call this uh, casting so we casting the data type to a floating point another way to do it is uh, you can uh, build an extra float and then you can uh, write the value from the integer p inside the float so uh, we converting the integer to a float but then you have to make a float variable called extra and if we run this you see that the cast float is 2.5 and the extra float is, is 5 in the previous video I have tried to explain that every uh, data type is somewhere a number and even uh, characters are numbers and I show you this with the ASCII array even on characters you can do uh, calculations over here we have the character capital A which has a value of 65 so if we add one to it we get 66 which will represent the character B and I wrote a very small sketch over here I uh, set up a, ch a char and I give it the value of capital A and set up the monitor we uh, print uh, the character then we uh, print white space and we print uh, the character but this time as output we ask for the for the decimal output so the the number and then we add one to the character so we, we start with the uh, capital A which is uh, 65 and then we add one so it will be 66 which is uh, capital B and because we are looping you will we will uh, write down E B C D in the serial monitor uh, run this sketch you see E B C D and so on uh, this is uh, the end of the video thanks for watching uh, please uh, subscribe uh, to my youtube channel uh, the next video will be about functions how to build a function and thanks for watching